Hey everybody. So the other day I went to Walmart and I decided that uh, I was going to get a coffee maker. <laughs> well, it's not a coffee maker. Well, I guess you can call it a coffee maker. It's a French press. It's a thermos French press, as you can see here. And um, I almost bought uh, a real French press that's 38 ounces. Uh, that I found by the coffee machine aisle but then I decided against it because it's glass and it can break and um, and I'm just going to try this uh, Stanley thermos uh, French press and uh... <coughs> oh. sorry I'm still a little a little down but I'm feeling better but anyway um, so I'm gonna try that and uh, see what happens Nope, I'm not a Dunkin' Donuts. <clears throat> I am making my own coffee. So I'm going to try that, and I'm going to try this. Let's see what happens. And if it doesn't work, Walmart sells this French press. And the only reason I got this instead of the French press is because the French press has glass around it. I don't drink that much coffee, but once in a while I like to drink a little bit of coffee, so I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens. Let's hope I didn't put too much in there. Now I gotta wait four or five minutes. While I wait for my coffee to get ready, I'm gonna eat my cereal. And I got different kinds of uh, cool cereal in there. Uh, low sugar. This one here is like an organic cereal. This is uh, Honey Bunches of Oats. Has low, low sugar content. And whenever I can, I put berries in it. And throughout the year, I get different berries at the store. Sometimes there are these little tiny bitty berries. And now I got these huge ones. I don't get these that often. But these are just, just huge. And cool. Alright, now let's hope I didn't put too much water in there. If I did, I learned my lesson. And then next time around... I'll put a little bit less water. So now we just got to press this down gently. It says to press it down gently. Okay. I'm trying to press it down gently. There you go. There you go. Uh, you know, I put water in there. Right. I'm not going to drink out of the thermos. I am going to pour that into a cup. But if I was going to keep it in a thermos, right, I definitely need to put less water in there. Because there's no way I could close that. So, I can't even press that thing all the way. But, I'm going to use... I'm going to use... A fork. 
and we'll fork this down pressing it all the way down oh huh, that's it won't go anymore so now I'll pour that into a cup and hopefully I won't make a mess and spill that thing all over the place uh, I think the problem that I have <coughs> and I used to have bigger cups and now I bought these and these are smaller and the problem that I'm gonna have is this this is not enough let's see ready There you go. Alright, let's uh, see how good it tastes. It's not, it's not strong enough. It's just uh, watery. Um, I think this is a 12 ounce cup. So, I just need to add less water or more coffee. Yeah. Now I gotta clean this mess and I still have coffee in there. So I just <clears throat> I just cleaned this up and um, I put some water in there, put some hot water in there. Oh, first I had to take the grounds out without spoon, and because um, they just wouldn't come out by shaking this. And then I had to rinse that with hot water. I put that in there, shook it, you know, and then. Um, and then I had to rinse a few times with cold water. So I mean it's <clears throat> it's a bit of a hassle. Uh, especially if I'm pressed for time, this is you know it's a bit of a hassle to make a cup of coffee. But it does make a cup of coffee. And let me see. I put the remaining of the other coffee in here. So let me see how this tastes. Hold on one second. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not a bad cup of coffee. Maybe next time I can put I'll put a little bit less water and the same amount of coffee. And if it's still not strong enough, I can put more coffee in. I can let it sit in a in here a few more minutes instead of five, maybe six or seven minutes. The water could be a little hotter. I mean the water. They recommend that the water not be boiling, but just hot at 200 degrees. Well, how am I going to know if that's 200 degrees? What am I going to do, stick my finger in there? Or a thermometer in there? I mean, I guess I could get a thermometer. But I'll just eyeball it. I mean, where I live and work and boondock and urban camp and stealth camp and all that, there's a coffee place you know every few blocks so sometimes but if I don't want to go get a cup of coffee 
I can make my own. Now, there's one thing I've been thinking of getting, and that's a 12 volt, and I might still get it, a 12 volt uh, coffee maker sold at truck stops. So, I may still get that thing. The problem is, well, the problem is, where am I going to put it? Uh, this van is getting full. I mean, I just, maybe I can push, push this in, put it in here. No, I don't think that'll fit in there. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, it's not a bad coffee maker. Uh, I can tell you that. So, if you want to get one of these things and make a cup of coffee with it, you can make a cup of coffee with it. You're just going to have to have the patience and the time to clean that up, which I did relatively quick. And you get a hot cup of coffee if you don't want to go somewhere and get one or if you're not near a coffee place so there you go